So we're at uh, Build School at, at the Falkland Estate. We've sort of taken the earth building bit to, to the next level, trying out all sorts of different earth building techniques yeah. within a timber frame, so within a hutting framework as it were. We've been doing a workshop in earth and fibre and we're looking at both the history of the material, the traditions and new, new ways to use it. A lot about teaching skills, about well-being. Whenever you work with earth it's safe, it's, it's pleasurable. Everyone goes very quiet and it's a bit sort of zen. So this is a timber frame that we've built. It's uh, re reused materials, all different types of structure that we can start inserting earth into. Earth is definitely just one of the most sustainable materials out there. I'm a plasterer. I'm adding a local soil. Mixing and actually building has been amazing. <laughs> So I build traditional timber frame buildings and environmentally sensitive infill. I'm not that savvy about. Woodwork is a lot cleaner than mudwork. It's nice to deal with the textural nature of another material. So we're using earth mortar to glue together some earth bricks. It's been really nice, really nice atmosphere being able to camp afterwards as well and having lots of nice chats with people around the fire. Yeah, it's just been a good way to like connect with people who are from all different backgrounds. People I'll probably stay in touch with afterwards. Everyone's interested in building slightly differently, doing things for themselves maybe. I feel more connected to the earth and it's a natural, therapeutic, beautiful medium to work in. Yeah, right now we're doing the twist, dancing because we're in love with life. And uh, what we're doing is we're sort of melding the straw into the clay. So if you've got straw going through, it's these really strong fibres. It will not pull apart no matter how much it cracks. The idea here is that it's a demonstration of how earth um, more natural, material, natural fibrous materials like straw can be used in a more modern context. There's a lot going on here in, material, in terms of the materials, so I think everyone who's, who's attending has got uh, a quite a specific interest and it's catered for it. Everyone seems to be having a really good time. The way that earth is used is not slapdash, but it's wonderfully imprecise. You go by feel rather than what it says in the book. People really tune into their bodies and the place they're in and the soil is from the ground. It's just a very sort of centering, grounding experience. Daniel and Becky have a quite a relaxed approach to teaching um, and I think that enables participants here to experiment and freely experiment without feeling they're going to do anything wrong. I use clay in my work, I'm a ceramicist. It's magic, it's, it's great fun, it's very informative. It's great finding kindred spirits as well. I usually help with reconstructing ancient buildings. That's brilliant. Exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, probably 10 times more. A lot of information um, and a lot of hands-on experience.